to draw the treble clef. The treble clef is what we as violinists use in our music. So here we go. Now remember, the clef is always drawn at the beginning of our staff. And the staff has five lines and four spaces. We're going to start off by drawing a very simplified version. It's going to take a few motions to kind of get used to it, but once you become familiar with drawing the treble clef, you should be able to do it in a very smooth motion using about two different um, motions within drawing it. So we're going to start by drawing it down here so you can see what it looks like, and then we'll draw it on the staff. So the two motions I'm talking about is basically you're going to draw a straight line down, and then the second motion, we're going to break into a few parts so you can understand it. So what we're going to start off with is you curve the staff this direction. So it kind of forms the letter P. Once we form this way, about right here in the bar we drew is where we're going to pivot and start going the other direction. So now I'm going to draw a loop going this way. Now, this doesn't quite look like a clef. But the reason being is because we still have to come all the way around this other direction on the bottom. Not on the top, just on the bottom. So it kind of forms like a seashell type look. So I'm going to curve it this way. I'm going to come all the way up around past the line again and form a little dot. Then at the very end, we just add a little tail. And that's kind of what the treble clef looks like. Let's try it on the staff. So. With the clef, we never go above the staff. We go a little bit below for our tail, but that's it. We're going to start by drawing a line through all of the lines and spaces past the staff just a little bit, like that. Now remember, our first motion we made, we kind of formed the letter P, and then we flipped around this way for our seashell. Way we're gonna, the way we're going to me measure it on our staff is by this middle line right here, line three. We're gonna curve through the first two spaces and stop at line three. And then we're gonna pivot the other direction to the line one and come right back around to form our seashell shape. So it looks like this. So we're gonna curve around like this so it looks like our letter P. And then I've hit line three so I need to pivot and go the other direction. So I'm going to come this way, so my marker is not writing, and I'm going to touch here at line one. And then, remember I have to form that seashell type shape. So I need to stay within these two spaces, and I can't go past line three. So I'm going to come up this direction, and I'm going to circle right there. And our dot really should be placed on the line that we made. So right there. And then we're going to add our tail. So let's draw it one more time. I'm going to draw it starting from the top line. And I go all the way down a little past the staff. And then do you remember what we do first? That's right. We form our first curve through spaces three and four by forming the letter P. So I'm going to do my first little motion. And then... Remember, we have to go back the other way, because once we hit line three, we pivot and go the other direction. So I'm going to go this way, and then we have to come around and form our seashell shape. So I'm going to come around this way, and I'm going to go right there, and there's my cleft, and I just add the tail. So when you become more familiar with which direction goes where, you want to be able to do it in just two motions, like this, and then come around, Go like that, and there's my clef. Now I'm going to show you how to draw a fancy version of the clef. It's just a little more curvy than this one. So instead of starting by drawing a straight line down, I'm going to start by drawing a curve coming down and curving right back up. So instead of my tail just being a line, it looks a little more curvy. It looks really nice. So there's my first motion. Now, remember how we have to come this way to form the letter P? I've already started kind of doing that. So that means I still need to pivot probably about right here so that I can go the other direction. But with this one, I'm gonna curve around, form my little seashell, and end right back up here. 
So let's see what it looks like. So I'm going to curve here, just like that. And it looks a little fancier. Now let's start on the staff. In order to do this, with our extra little curve that we started about right there, I'm going to drop it right here on line four. I'm going to go like this, come down. Now, as you can see, I kind of chose to go at an angle. You can go straight if you'd like, but I like to do mine at an angle so it kind of looks a little more curvy. And then we start here on line four and we wanted to curve it back around. So I'm going to curve it down, come right back around. And that is a little fancier version of the treble clef. Just as a reminder for that one, we started here on line four and I curved down, went around, and then I just connected it. And that is how you draw the treble clef. If there's anything else that you would like to learn about with music, just shoot me a message and I'm happy to make a video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.